uh, be afraid of human beings. So no yes, human yes, beings. Yes, yes. Know so, what human beings are capable uh, of doing. Like I've been saying, you've been reporting from the court for a long time. You've yes. seen all kinds of absolutely. cases. So all kinds of things that people have of, done to people and have come to court. To fear Nipa, I would say that try and know Nipa. Are human beings yes, dangerous? Yes. Human beings are really, really, really Human dangerous. beings are dangerous. And human beings are really, really nice and good. <laughs> you get the point. Human beings are the, the, the right ones. At the same time, yes. human beings are good. So yes. when you know human beings, mm -hmm. for me, one thing that I have always made it my point is that I have taken the element of surprises out of my dictionary. So whatever I encounter, anywhere, any day, anyhow, I... I, it's at the back of my mind that it is bound to happen. And as long as we are humans, don't be surprised what your fellow human does to you. Because if you do, don't be surprised you'll be there. Shocked. Yes. There is nothing. Shocked. The very person. Human you, beings you, are capable yes. of doing things that uh, you never imagined I, or thought JJ that they would do. once said, Abu Ebi Bekawa. If you want to, ma'am. Not Frank to ma. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, the person yeah. who knows you is the person who hurts you, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Those days when you are going somewhere and you see a lion coming, you'll be running. When you see a human being coming, you run to the human being for for cover, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now when you see lion coming, you know that the lion will harm you, so you yeah. are much prepared. But the human being you don't it. know. That's what the human being you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> so when you are going, you don't know. So you have to prepare and make sure that. Have you ever, have you ever encountered a moment when you are approaching somebody and then your mind is, you are not too certain. You are not too yeah, sure. You are, you are approaching the person about the intentions of the yes, person. Your your mind's eyes are working. And yeah. See what is likely. You are to trying happen. to read the body language. You are trying to read it between to, the lines of what they are saying to ascertain. You have to be on guard. Yeah. Quite recently, I I just woke up and my 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 next door neighbor. I was like, at dawn, when I was about to come to work, I was like, Charlie, what has happened? I just noticed that my, my window has been, has been tempered with somebody broke into a, tore the, 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 net. the net, and then they took away uh, his phone and wire his phone away. And next to me, uh, he's just next to me. I was like, ooh, mm -hmm. what is going to happen? It is not a ghost that it's did not it. A ghost. It's a it was a human being. being. <laughs> <laughs> it was so a human being. Know. Yeah, he you was never even know. good to inform me because he wanted me to be on guard. Yeah, and, and you know, they took it away. Can human, you imagine what would have happened to yeah. them? Human beings do all kinds of things. You know, at various workplaces, there may be people who are even sitting in the offices right now, probably listening to us. And there are human beings in their offices who are smiling with them, oh, of course, talking they, to them, and they say pretending as if they seen. like them. But once they turn their backs and go somewhere, they go to the next colleague and they go and do kokonsa about that very person that they were laughing with, and they will laugh at the person. And you know, for or they will go to their boss and go and say all manner of things well. about that particular person to their boss, just to try and derail their work or cause this affection uh, on the part of the boss for them, you know, to make them lose their promotion. But well, what is written uh, is written, and all of that. Best. Is that the best? Game? What is written is written. What is written is yes, written. Yes, yes. What is what what is written in your life to have nobody can change it. Ah well. Yeah, nobody can change. If you believe. It. Yeah, I believe. If in you that. believe in God. And when you see. When and you believe that you are prayerful. Of course. And you believe that no weapon at, forged I'll, against I'll, you shall prosper. For me, I won't come at you. Then and you I just need to keep praying. You. Yeah. I will not think about you in the sense that I want to bring yeah. you down. Someone will make you lose your yes, job. Of course. You know, at the office because of they are probably envious of you Somebody or jealous said, of you or want your position. Uh, Falsehood and truth. Falsehood will always take an early lead, but certainly truth yeah. will prevail. Truth will so prevail. That's one. Whoever wants to do that business, allow the person. Fear to human beings. Look so. your front and go. Fear one human day, beings. You just crash. Yeah. This is not the same human beings who <laughs> would use. <laughs> who would use. The last time I was talking about the school feeding uh, program, right? And I was so livid about the school feeding Ketra. Okay. Who knows that? The corn dough they are using to prepare banku for it's the students good. is moldy. This is a human being, and it is moldy. And they will still use that moldy, rancid corn dough to prepare banku mm -hmm. for children to yes. eat. That is a human All being. The person it is not a ghost that came to do yes. it. All the person wants is the money. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let me do All the people who go to the get, juju men get my money to and go I'm, and I'm, get I'm, people I'm to gone. kill for them. Are they not human beings? But you, you won't die. That's the question. 
<laughs> if you want somebody dead, the question is, will you turn stone? Oh, Definitely oh, you oh. die. Seku. Yes. Sure. Definitely you, you die. Definitely you die. Yes. And you better, you know it because you've been at the court. Oh, of course, you so see a lot of things. So speaking about the court. And, and yes. Speaking about the courts and the things that you've witnessed and seen mm. at the courts, you know, cases, you know, involving murder, you've been following some of those cases. Oh, yes. Cases involving causing financial loss to the state. Yes. You've been, you've been involved in some of those cases. I mean, Even cases involving side chicks. <laughs> you've been involved in I've some of those involved, cases. I've been monitoring. If you've you been, okay, involved, okay. You are, you are not involved. <laughs> Point of correction. So, Point of correction. You've been, you've been, I've been observing. I've been monitoring. I've been observing. observing. Those but who are involved are the reason we were there. <laughs> yes, but let's, 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 let's get into courts today, shall yes, we? Sure. Uh, what have you got covered for, up for us today? Yes, yeah, so today I'll be talking to you about ADR last week. It was an ADR week, and the whole week started. And in fact, uh, it didn't start on a good note because organized labor had uh, an issue to deal with regarding the uh, state hotels. And so the Monday was, there was no show. But the, the, the following days that followed, the last four days, have been very eventful, very interesting. But in our subsequent editions, we'll give you a breakdown of what all that has happened. But one institution, Institute of Paralegals, have been giving uh, training to some persons, some professionals, into ADL. And all these things is, to gear, is geared towards ensuring that there are a lot of uh, 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 ADL professionals in the system to help the judiciary uh, deal with issues of, of, of that are amenable to using ADR. And you, have, you, you are much more familiar with how beneficial ADR is and all that. But one person has been speaking, that is Alex Nati. He's an ADR consultant. And he's been saying, like, look, at a point in time when there was a hung parliament, there were a lot of potential that we could have leveraged on it as a country. But that has been very disappointing. And so he thinks that having ADR professionals on board will be able to assist and then uh, uh, deal with that very situation. Let's go and listen to Mr. Alex Nati and the ADR consultant on this subject. Sometimes we ask as a nation why we are not developing the way we expect. And I can tell you for sure One of the major reasons why we are not progressing as rapid as we expect is that as a nation, we do not have what it takes to collaborate with one another for superior sources. That is what has affected our nation. And this is evidence in what we have seen in how our hand parliament as work. We thought that the hand nature of Parliament was going to engender cooperation and a meaningful cooperation and collaboration among our parliamentarians for running gun. And that has rather jeopardized a lot of national effort. And we don't need to hide our faces when we are saying this. Had a breakthrough. We are going to have quality of deliberation in Parliament for the general good of Ghana. But and Parliament couldn't achieve that. We have had one of the worst economic challenges when we had hand Parliament. And we never saw them reasoning over our challenges. It has not been an exemplary at all because Ghanaians in general lack the interest-based approach to handling issues. We are all the time emotional. And when emotions are at their peak, wisdom vanishes. So when you see a parliamentarian addressing Mr. Speaker as if he's annoying with everybody in the world. You can conclude that he's not going to say anything good than to be partisan. Partisanship does not develop any country. It is collaboration and objectivity. And that is what ADR provides its practitioners. 
All right. So, so yes, that is uh, Mr. Alex Nati. Alex Nati talking uh, about ADR, ADR. consultant and how Parliament, Hank Parliament, failed to live at to eight billion and all that. Right. But one person who has also been speaking, who's had it all in ADL, he's using it, he's used it, he's uh, as it were tested it, mm -hmm. and he's actually applying in his, his the field now. Uh, Nana upon AJ Sikapa, the continuing of a uh, term and T in the Kumewu traditional area. You know, if I chair this very graduation ceremony and he has this to say. Even with all of us, we are agents of peace. Let's promote peace. Let us not fan into flames already existing chaos. By dint of your training, be assimilated, wholly transformed to add up to the few people who are promoting peace, transformation through the wings of ADR. And I can assure you that between the space of five to ten years, the law courts will be less. And the agents of ADR who are poised to bring out solutions and make sure society becomes a convenient and harmonious place to live will then try. So put yourself together. There's a lot ahead of us, but it all boils down to reading. Recently, when I went to my place, just so that is Nana upon a JC Kappa, the Kruntihne of Termati in the Kumewu traditional area, uh, advising the uh, those uh, professional that look the agent of change. Mm. And let's make sure that peace in the next ten years, ADL should be used as a tool to change or to reduce backlog of cases. But one person has also been talking, the rector of uh, the Institute of Paralegal Training and Leadership Studies, uh, Goslav uh, Koko Nazi. He, she has been telling us more about these professionals, 80 of them, as when they were graduated and giving their certificate. Let's hear uh, Goslav Koko Nazi. We have uh, those who did professional executive master in alternative dispute resolution and those who did professional executive master in general paralegal studies. Some also did executive certificate in alternative dispute resolution. And I think the last group, um, they also did a alternative dispute resolution. However, we have online and then in person, so some did online and some did in person. So these are the people we have graduated this year. Uh, they started in February and in March, and then they are finally graduating today. So the feedback has been great in that our students talk well about us, and then we, the, our main goal is to create awareness about ADR, and then since we have this awareness being created, we believe that it is a great feedback for us. Our previous graduation, we also graduated 80 people. Yeah, so, so far this year, we've graduated 160 people. And then we believe that these are great people who will go out and then create the awareness we want ADR to create. And then they will do their work well so that the burden on the court will be released. And many people will come and then study to be ADR practitioners and also paralegals. Mm -hmm. The message I have for them is that they should be trustworthy and then they shouldn't go out putting themselves out as lawyers. They should go out and then put themselves out as uh, facilitators of disputes. They should help people to facilitate their disputes and not judge people for their disputes. Okay, and then our paralegal students who are not going out to put themselves out as lawyers, but rather paralegals who are very beneficial to lawyers. Mm -hmm. So to the general public, if you have a case and it is not criminal and it is amenable by ADR, I'm advising you that ADR is short. I mean, it is cost effective. The process is not so long. You know, there are cases in the courts that can go as far as 20 years, 15 years. But uh, if your case is amenable by ADR, then you should try ADR and then you would see the benefits for yourself. So that is uh, God's love, Coco Nati, director of 
institutes of our legal uh, leadership and studies, uh, giving us uh, more about that particular graduation ceremony. All right. Had to turn out new professionals. All right. So let's talk about the Ventures Capital case now. We understand that the court has endorsed state prosecutors or the state prosecutor's request to sell three properties of the ex ventures capital ceo for about 9.9 .9 million ghana cities yes for those who remember ventures capital the ceo of ventures capital daniel duku mm. some time ago was charged together with some others in fact uh, he agreed to admit to the offense by way of activating section 35 of the court act where you are allowed to plead guilty and then you are made to pay uh, the money with some interest that is the, the understand agreement that he had with the state and the court uh, endorsed saying. And so instead of going to jail, he's made to pay the sum of money with some compensation and all that. Now, since the agreement was made, he offered, he's supposed to pay the balance or the money that he's supposed to pay now is 15 million Ghana cities. Now, there's a, he, he offered some properties to, to, to the state to be used to to defray that particular sum of money and in fact the properties that he as it were gave for the uh, state to use were plots um plot number seven is that it is near the islamic university around ajurigano and the value at the time was over 3.6 uh, million cities when the uh, aesl uh, architecture and engineering services limited went and valued the property that's how they value the property and then the second one also has to do with a plot a four a number four uh, a plot near the same area and the value is also around 3.6 million and then the third one is a georgetown heights apartment you are in kumasi so you know the it's at the south uh Suntreso in kumasi you know that area so that is where that apartment and that apartment was valued at 6.7 million However, the valuation that AESL did, according to the prosecution, was exactly 40 million, the amount, amount of money that he's left to pay. And so it raises some issues, and then they also did some underground cover, and they discovered that properties within the same vicinity that are better than these ones are rather valued lower. So for them, they felt that the valuer inflated the price and so they've been struggling to dispose of the property to sell the property and all, and therefore they have come to the court for the court to reduce revise the uh, that particular order that was accepted by the court and yesterday they moved that particular motion justice lady i'll say Marfo, as it were a uh, head argument from all of them and the court agreed with the state so the property with an uh, inscription, plot number seven, near the Islamic University at Ajungan, the court said instead of 3.6 million cities, now it should be sold at 3 million Ghana cities. The second plot, number four, the, the, near the same area, the court said instead of 3.6 million, it should now be sold at 2.9 million Ghana cities. Then you go to the one at uh, South Suntreso in Kumasi, the Georgetown Heights apartment the court is saying that instead of 6.7 million it should be sold at 4 million ghana cities so that is the new decision that the court has done so that is what the prosecution was seeking yesterday and right. justice lady of sermons was endorsed that and said that instead of the pro the three properties be sold at 14 million ghana cities now it will be sold at 9.9 .9 million ghana city meaning that the former ventures capital ceo will still have some outstanding monies to pay to the state in relation to this very case. So that's what one of the cases that came on yesterday. All right. So the Beige Bank case has been going on for quite some time now. Yes. Um, we understand that the 21st and 22nd defense witnessed uh, witnesses for Michael Nyenaku were discharged yesterday. So they, in fact, they were the discharged earlier. So yesterday we were expecting the uh, 23 and 24 to come to court yesterday. Well, unfortunately, yesterday when the case was called, the accused person, Michael Nyineku, was not present. His lawyers submitted a, a medical excuse duty to the court, suggesting that he is unwell. And so he was taken ill and has been admitted at the hospital. For that matter, he was unable to show up in court. So yesterday, 
the business of the day unfortunately did not happen because the accused person wasn't present however you notice that this very case has been going on on mondays wednesdays and fridays just as if you have a which indicates that there is an issue she has a program to attend and for that matter tomorrow's sitting will be waived hoping that on friday michael nineku would be present in court as it were for the case to continue so yesterday there was no show in relation to the uh, case involving or the bench bank case right. involving michael nineku so let's come to the cases that are happening in court today um or some of the things that we're expecting to happen within the judicial circles today. We, are, we understand that the president is going to swear in new court of appeal judges. Yes. Uh, Justice Lydia Osei Mafo. Yes. And uh, Justice Abuaje Tando. Yes. That's happening today, right? Yeah, that's happening today. Mm. And the director of the Ghana School of, of Law, uh, all of them are going to be part. You notice that a short while ago, some time back, there was some nomination of our 16 uh, judges who are going to be elevated to the court of appeal in fact some of them receive a lot of uh, controversy and all that you remember the former nta board were told that went deleted some of uh, his posts on social media and all that that particular nomination is what we are talking about so today at the presidency nanado dankwa kufuado the chief justice all of them will be there to perform or to swear in these uh, some these uh, court of appeal judges i must say that not all of them who were nominated earlier have an appointment have been accepted so a few of them so those who were accepted would be sworn in today so that's one of the things that we look forward to all right and in terms of um you know cases the ambulance case the yes. famous you know ambulance case um yes. involving kcl out of forcing and also uh, richard jackpa yes uh, we understand that former health minister les segbefia Will be testifying in court. Yes. He's expected to testify that in court as a second defense witness. That's the expectation. For Richard Jakwa? Yes, mm. the, the expectation. One of the supreme witnesses. So he's expected in court today to testify. But it is looking like 50 50, or it's looking 50 50 as we speak. I'm sure that I be told you a short while ago about the fact that there will be a mid year bu budget uh, statement in parliament today. Mm -hmm. And as a minority leader, he definitely will have to be in court. And also, regarding this case he definitely will also have to be in court so now one has to compromise so it is looking more likely that this very case today might not happen before justice if you have a sorry, but that is if the media budget statement that will be presented by the minister of finance is anything to go by but of course we'll be at the court to see what will happen mm. in relation to whether the case will be caught or because of the budget statement it, a review it will be adjourned. All right. And men's gold customers are also eager, yes. you know, to see Nana Pia Mensa in court again. He's expected to be there today. The last time he was in court, he was asked to open his defense because yes. the prima facie had been found yes. or established yes. against him. So yes. it means he has to come and open his defense and answer some questions, right? Yes. Is that beginning today? So, um, like you mentioned, on the 11th of July, Justice Ernest Owusu Dapa found as a fact that prosecution witnesses, nine of them, were able to raise questions for which number one and his companies ought to answer and so the court upon ordering him to open his defense uh, out of the 36 out of the 39 count the court asked number one to come to today so today the court will hold a mini uh, or a case management completion plan for him mm. and then the date will be fixed definite date will be fixed but it is looking more likely that a date for number one to come and speak definitely will have to be in the next legal year but okay. it will be before justice and next also the power they will know what will happen but number one certainly is making his first appearance after the court has ordered him to open his defense all right um are the jurors still on strike yeah the jurors are on strike wow so yes. that means cases like the Kaswa ritual murder you know and uh the jb killers Absolutely. may not come on you because <laughs> like because the because the jurors are still on strike. They <laughs> yeah, should just they give the strike. jurors their money. Yes, they are on strike. They said eh? no. They are. So one of the issues for which reason we are here is to the effect that they want to face these jurors out of the system. You get it. They want to face them out of the and system. And so they should give them they their money and let them go. go. And, and so they, they should give them their money for them to go. If that is the decision that the judiciary is taking, eh. then we want our money. Give us our money and let if us we go. Don't, we, if, if we don't want to do the job and then we we'll leave. And then we we'll leave and then now we'll be chasing them. It is absolutely. It's a, it's so a, the, the whole they are, issue. They are wising the up. The whole issue. Cut short. That is it.
give us our so they know they are going to be phased out of the system but they still have work to do so they don't want to do their work and then after that they'll be phased out of the system and then they'll be chasing them because in ghana absolutely they have received four months and said no Give us that man. So okay. the case and the Kaswa Rachel Meda, the mm. two teenagers. So give us all our money. This will be the fourth time the case will be adjourned because of the jurors. Wow. And it's all just less than two hours. Within two hours, this whole case should be done and that's there. Wow. And for the fourth sitting, today inclusive, which is likely to happen, the case will have to suffer an adjournment. Accused persons are still in lawful custody. And that's then sad. the JB killers, of course, Daniel Isidu, he was in the witness about telling us his story and all that. And this case, also, several it has been because yes, the jurors are not there. Also, no show because the jurors are not there. The case of the Afoku, one thing that I've heard not confirmed yet is that even the jury, it has started. Third prosecution witness is testifying, and my understanding is that they have to start all over again because they want the jurors in that case also to go because wow. they have been around the system. So, yeah, these anyway. are the issues happening. So, okay. all the indictable cases and all that, all of them, no show. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Muta Lainusa. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you here in the studio. I see that you've got some books from Bobby Banson. Yes. So yesterday, I took delivery of two books from lawyer Bobby Banson, or mm -hmm. Bobby Banson Esquire. He's a, he's a lecturer, he's an astute lawyer, and he's give, gifted me these two books. Civil two. Litigation in yes. the High Court of Ghana yes. by Bobby Banson and yes. Commercial Arbitration in Ghana. Practice and procedure. Absolutely. So yeah. this will be a good read. Yes, it will yeah. be a good read. Then I'm, I'm waiting to read it after you're done. Read, I'll read his books and then okay. I'll make use of the wise uh, things that he's said. All right. I'll say a very big thank you to uh, Bobby Banson. Good morning to Bobby Banson this morning from us here at Star 103.5 FM. It's 8.21 a.m. You're still listening to The Morning Star. We're also live on Empire 102.7 FM in Takurade. Let me remind you that if you're a small to medium-sized business looking to manage communications cost-effectively, MTN SME Plus is offering you flexible prepaid packages, classic, super, or premium. That is